you guys should check this out. It's pretty cool. This is uh, logistic differential equations. Um, now, before I actually get into this, I want to point out that a typical logistic differential equation is going to have something like this. It's going to be ky times 1 minus y over l. That's the actual formula for a logistic differential equation. However, in this particular question, they specifically said that our formula is dy over dt equals ky. So uh, for this problem, the amount of bacteria grows at dy dt equals ky instead of ky times 1 minus y over l. So just keep that in mind uh, if you already know stuff about logistic differential equations or if you're just getting into it, don't get confused about that. So in this one, the amount of a bacteria y in a dish grows according to the equation dy over dt equals ky, where k is a constant and t is measured in hours. If bacteria triples in 10 hours, k is what? So the first thing we want to do is write out our equation. So dy over dt equals ky. It's not so bad they gave it to us. Now, what we have to do now is we have to write it in terms of y, dy over y equals k dt. That's really crucial here because what we're going to do next is we're going to do the we're going to integrate it here. We're going to basically, if we're going to integrate it, we need to have this dy over y to make things easier. So now that you've integrated dy over y, that's pretty simple. It turns out to be ln y. That's pretty nice. However, here, this might be a little bit confusing if you don't understand the concept. What we're doing here is we're taking t as an unknown. If you notice here, it's not dy over dx, it's dy over dt. So here, when you integrate, it's like k, and it's like k times x plus c, but it's just k times t plus c. So when you move on, basically what you're going to do is you're going to plug ln of three equals ten k, and then you go on to solve that. But before you just jump ahead to that, you have to understand here the reason why we're just coming up with ln of three equals ten k is not just because we made up those numbers to to solve this problem we actually first we plugged in t equals zero so at times zero what is y so you get zero the um, op, the natural log log the e of zero is one so y equals one so when time is zero y equals one i've illustrated that in the graph but now just as they said in the problem the bacteria triples in 10 hours so when it's it was one when it's three Three times that it's going to be ten. So instead of being one and zero, it's now three and ten. So I see here it's gone from y equals one to y equals three, and it's gone from t equals zero to t equals ten. I tried to illustrate that in this graph here. At one, it's one times. You go up to ten. Hey, it's three times. The bacteria is growing. So that's basically how you get the numbers for this equation. Ln of three equals ten k. When you solve that out, you're going to get k equals point. 110. And you're solving for k, you just get the ln of 3 and you divide by 10, voila, you have k equals 0.110.